If you're trying to get smooth, buttery pan and tilt shots for your videos, using a camera tripod or monopod will definitely help. But the results can be jerky at times because maybe your tripod's not that great or you're not rotating the handle as smoothly as you thought. In some cases, you can get away with this in post by simply cutting the clip right before the shaky parts. But what if this happens during the most important part of the clip? You can't use it. It's not gonna look good on your behalf and it's certainly not gonna look good on screen. Well, enter the world of fluid head tripods. Getting smooth pan and tilt shots can really increase the production quality of your videos. Whether you're filming product reviews or shooting a moving subject, a smooth linear camera movement can really make a huge difference in the way your video is received. Now today, I wanna to talk to you guys about my fluid head video tripod, the Magnus VT4000. Let's jump straight into the pros and cons after owning it for a few months now. For 160 bucks, I think this is a great bang for your buck fluid head tripod. It's got some features that you can usually only find on higher end models. At its price point, I think it's a great value fluid head tripod in terms of its quality and its reliability. It's got a quick release plate with two locking mechanisms to securely hold that precious cargo of yours, but also very easy to remove. Just loosen the knob on the right side, hold down the red button, and slide it off within seconds. Moving on, the VT4000 is sporting adjustable upper and lower legs that lock into place via flip locks, a mid-level spreader, and retractable spikes underneath each leg. I like to think of them as cleats for your tripod. This two-way fluid head comes with one pan bar, but it has left and right mounts to provide smooth operation with either hand. One practical feature I noticed while using this fluid head was all the head controls are placed on the left side of the head, leaving my right hand free for panning handle. This system also features a fixed counterbalance spring set for smooth tilting goodness. Finally, the fluid head. It has been so awesome to finally have a video head tripod with a fluid head on it. Panning and tilting with an aperture completely wide open is so difficult. Why might you ask? Well, when your f-stop is wide open, you're creating a very shallow depth of field with only a small segment of your subject actually in focus. The difficulty of panning and tilting handheld while completely wide open is falling out of the focus plane. If you fall out of the focus plane, then your subject falls out of focus too. And if you're trying to keep your subject in focus throughout that camera movement, well, then this is not something that you want to happen. Not only does the VT4000 lessen the degree of difficulty within those types of shots, it's going to absolutely help speed up your workflow and give you a more accurate attempt at your shot. Magnus did not send me this tripod. I bought this tripod with my own money. So therefore, provided that this is an honest review, I have to talk about some of the shortcomings. Although this is a higher end model feature, one of the biggest shortcomings for me was the lack of tension knobs for the pan and tilt head. The pan and tilt locks serve as tension adjusters, which can be a bit finicky when you're trying to find the right amount of drag. Having dedicated tension knobs for both movements would be a home run at 160 bucks, but instead, the locking knobs are the only means of tension control. Another disadvantage I've experienced with this tripod is its lack of portability. Measuring it at 30 inches collapse, this eight pound anodized aluminum tripod cannot be easily packed onto the side of your backpack. Although it does come with a carrying case, I've tried fitting this into my carry-on, but to no avail. Lastly, although my mid-level spreader is still intact, I've read reviews about it breaking very easily. I've since then been pretty careful with it because it does feel a bit flimsy, uh, but nonetheless, I've tossed this on the ground in my car countless times and it's, it's still held up. 
It's easier to hide camera shake when you're shooting in slow motion like 60 or 120 frames per second, but what if you're doing a downward tilting left to right pan in 24 frames per second? It's gonna be much harder to hide that camera shake than it is in slow motion. If you're a beginner and you're just getting into making videos, this is gonna be one of your best options. It's something that I wish I bought with my GH5 because it's sturdy and I knew it was gonna be able to handle my camera, lenses, you know, monitor, and any other accessories that I wanted to throw on it later. Honestly, I didn't know how important it was to own a camera tripod that could sufficiently hold your camera. Uh, but luckily I didn't have to learn that the hard way and neither do you because if you guys want to purchase the Magnus VT4000, the link is going to be in the description below. If you guys purchase it right now, you guys can get a second Magnus VT4000 tripod for only $160 just like this one. Um, but this one's mine so, uh, and I only have one. So if you guys want to buy a second one and send it to me, go right ahead. So to sum it all up, adding a fluid head video tripod to your gear collection is gonna dramatically improve how smooth your pan and tilt movements are and the production value and quality of your videos. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you guys are shopping for a fluid head video tripod, which ones are you guys considering? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Talk to you guys soon, peace.